Today is Friday, September 6, 2024. You're watching a video of my live stream downtown Portland, Oregon about two weeks ago. I've been wanting to do this story because I want to know what's going on in Portland, Oregon with sons and their mothers. Here's the title. Four Portland, Oregon area sons have been accused of killing their mother in less than one year. Did you hear what I said? Four Portland, er, Portland, Oregon area sons have killed their mother in less than one year. Chad E. Bricks' arrest Friday marks the fourth time his son has been accused of killing his mother in the Portland metro area since March 2023. Four days after a 52-year-old man was arrested for allegedly killing his 78-year-old mother, Lynn Lake Oswego, police have said little about what may have transpired in the typical quiet neighborhood. And that morning, Chad E. Bricks' arrest Friday marks the fourth time his son has been accused of killing his mother in the Portland metro area since March 2023. What is known about happened in Lake Oswego? Police were called to the 1700 block of Marty Avenue after a neighbor called for a welfare check Friday. According to police and residents in the neighborhood, officers arrived at 8.40 a.m. to find 78-year-old Virginia Bricks dead. Her son, Chad Bricks, was arrested at the scene. Virginia Bricks was appointed her son's guardian two years ago after he started suffering from delusions and declining mental health, according to court records. Police have declined to release more information and details into the investigation. Neighbors in the area did not report hearing or seeing anything unusual before police swarmed Marty Avenue. Several people said that they had seen police called to the home one or two times over the past year. Who is the second son accused of killing his mother? In November, 27-year-old Austin H. Graham was charged in the death of his 59-year-old mother, Teresa Graham. Court records show Austin Graham was experiencing declining mental health after suffering a traumatic brain injury in 2018. His mother, who was granted guardianship over Graham in August, had told authorities that the family sought professional psychiatric care for him, but that he had fled, according to court documents. Police responded to the family's home in the 5500 block of Southwest Menifee Drive at 7.30 a.m. October 20th. A family member heard Teresa Graham's alarm going off and found an unresponsive Teresa Graham in bed. According to a probable cause affidavit, medical examiners did not find signs of visible injuries at the scene. An autopsy later discovered and uncovered suspicious circumstances and police ruled Graham's death a homicide by manual strangulation. Austin Graham called 911 after visiting a Portland area emergency room November 7th. He then told the operator, I think I just killed my mom. According to the affidavit, he was arrested and used the back of a police form to confess to the crime while in custody, writing that he had strangled her, the affidavit says. Graham was taken into Oregon State Hospital on December 5th, court records show. Do the cases share any commonalities? Yes. Months earlier, Austin K. Green Yurick was charged with second-degree domestic violence homicide, among other charges, after he allegedly struck his 64-year-old mother, Kathy Green, in the head with a baseball bat in June. Court records suggest he also suffered from a mental illness. He was found unfit and his own criminal defense. Police responded to, re to reports of an assault at a home on 1300 block of Northeast 68th Avenue on June 22nd. The call came from Green York at 7.25 p.m., and he told the operator he had just hit his mother in the head with a baseball bat. According to a probable cause affidavit, officers arrived to find Green bleeding heavily and seated in a chair inside an apartment and a baseball bat in the kitchen. According to the affidavit, Green was also taken to a nearby hospital where she died. Green York told police he had hit his mother because he was tired of the way she had treated him, the affidavit alleged. The state hospital returned a psychological evaluation for Green York in, September, in, Dece in December, court records show. What have the police said about the fourth case? Connie Campania Martinez was shot and killed in March 
allegedly by her 17-year-old son, Standing Bear Campania, now 18, was charged with second-degree murder in juvenile court where most records are sealed. It's unclear what factors may have been in play. Well, that is the last and fourth murder. And I could tell you, they had just he had just pleaded and he had just got sentenced. He was 17 and a half years old. He shot his mother 15 times. Not only did he shoot his mother 15 times, he unloaded one magazine after unloading with her. Then he loaded another magazine and loaded another magazine. So he shot her 15 times. But court records show if they were going to take it to court, he was going to say that she shot first in self-defense because of the way he was brought up. So, with Oregon's juvenile law, after he shot his mom 15 times and killed her, he will be out of jail in seven years on his 25th birthday. What the fuck is going on in Portland, Oregon area? We need mental health doctors everywhere.